Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in the room. Come in the room. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. Good morning to all of you. Come on the room. The Lord is great. He is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be honored and adored. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come in the room. Come in the room. I got to do something real quick here. Yes, yes, yeah. Give me some more light in my room. Good morning to you. Sister Nicole, good morning. God bless you there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Good morning to all of you. Come in the room. The Lord is great. He continues to bless us over and over again. Good morning to you, Sister Mary. God bless you, Sister Nora. Good morning to you, Sister Barbara. Good morning. Listen, we're going to get right into what the Lord has for us this morning. We're going to pray and just uh, just bring him in. Uh, good morning to you, Sister Donna. God bless you. Father God, we just bless you. We praise you, O oh God, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, that you are King of Kings. And Lord, you are Lord of Lords. God, there is nobody like you, God, nowhere in all the earth. God, and for that, we want to thank you, God. We want to give your name praise. We we bless you, oh God, just for who you are, Lord, and who you created us to be. God, not just today, but every day. Every day, Lord God, we call upon your name. You are right there, Lord God. God, there is nothing, God, that is too hard for you. And we thank you, Lord God, for this word that's going to go forth with power and with might, oh Lord God. We bless your name, God, just for who you are, God, every single day. Lord God, yes, yes, we thank you, God, for the spirit of peace, God, that is up on us, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you make us worthy, Lord God. Worthy, Lord, because, my God, you sent Jesus Christ to die on the the cross for all of us that we might be free that we might be healed yes that we might be delivered in the mighty name of jesus oh god now god i pray that you will take this word do with it what you want to do with it oh god allow god it not to return to you void and i know that it won't because your word god promises that we bless you for all things in jesus name we pray amen amen good morning to you people of god good morning to to all of you I want to just say god bless you this morning um the lord is great he continues to to be great I just continue to bless him, bless his name because of who he is. Listen, this morning's meditation, I have been been um just thinking about this. Hey, Sister Robin, Sister Terry, good morning to you. God bless all of you that I didn't greet while I was yet in prayer. Want well, you know that I don't take it for granted that you are here and that you came to participate in the word of God because God is great. He continues to bless us and heal us and do such great and mighty and powerful things in our life. And I'm telling you. Ah, there's nobody like him nowhere. If you try to find somebody, you're not going to. It's just not going to work. You know, there was, um, I'll, I'll say this. When I um, I was laid down at night and, and, and get up in the morning, maybe through the night, when I wake up in the morning, there's usually always a song in my heart. And I bless God that I um, go to bed with the Lord on my mind, you know, usually. And usually I, I wake up with him on my mind. And um, before I get up to to do the morning meditation. I, I generally am, am thinking and contemplating and, and and considering what it is that we're going to talk about in the mornings. And, and there's usually always a song or a hymn or something that's on my on my mind. And the song or hymn that was on had been on my mind for the last few days was, you know, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Just a little talk with Jesus. And I don't know if, if um, the Lord just wanted me to impress upon you all that you need to start talking to the Lord. Um, but as I was thinking about this meditation more and more and more, I was, you know, you know, thinking about, you know, does just a little talk with Jesus make things right? Or do we need to do more than just have a little talk with him? Sometimes, listen, we don't talk with the Lord and sometimes we do talk, but we don't have a dialogue. Sometimes we just have a monologue. You know, that's why I love for you all to participate in these morning meditations because I don't want to just have a monologue. I want to have a dialogue with you. I want you to, I want to know what you all are thinking and considering about what it is that I'm saying. And, and I want to be able to participate back and forth. And that's how the Lord is as well. When you talk with him, he wants, you know, he wants to have um, a minute just to get in there and, and say something to put his, his, uh, his uh, 10 cents in to what it is that you have to say. And so I was thinking about, you know, just a little talk with Jesus. Does that make it right? Just a little talk with Jesus, you know, so, so we know that's a song. And a lot of times, you know, you know, people create songs and they create lyrics. And we know some of the old gospels, we know that was, you know, how you would get out of slavery. Those were cold songs to help the, the slaves get away. We recognize that. But some of the songs that were written later, those were songs that people took, you know, pieces and parts of verses from the Bible and kind of created them to make it sound good. And so, and so this morning, the Lord impressed upon me, yes, a little talk with Jesus would get his attention. But what's going to make things right? What is going to take care 
of the spiritual yearning that we have, what's going to take care of the desires that we have, what is going to make sure that we make it to heaven like we need to make it there, what's going to make sure that the enemy is off of our trail, what's going to make sure, my God, that we can live in peace and in harmony, what is going to make sure that we have the victory that we need, what is the thing that's going to make us whole, come on, what is what is the thing that's going to take care of all of the, the anxieties and fears and doubts that we have? What is going to do that? I know, you know, in the Bible days, you know, there were many uh, men, uh, great kings and, and prophets and apostles that had little talks with Jesus. But then there were things or with God. But there were many things, my God, that God expected them to do or required for them to do in order that they would win the battle, that they would win the war that they were fighting in. So there are many times, people of God, that we can sit down and have a, a little conversation with the Lord. But then the Lord will himself, he will give us something, my God, that, that, we, that we have to do or, come on, have to say or have to, to know in order, my God. That he is going to fight this battle for us, fight the not only fight the battle, but fight the battle and win the battle for us. Come, there's something, my God, that we've got to do. My God, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, 15, what am I to do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will pray with my mind also. I will sing with my spirit, but I will sing with my mind also. That's 1 Corinthians 14, 15. So we've got to understand what we're singing when we sing it. We got to understand. Listen, so I want the lyrics of this song. Um, it says, I was once lost in sin. Y'all know this song. Jesus took me in and then a light from heaven filled my soul. It bathed my heart with love and wrote my name above. Just a little talk with Jesus made it right. Y'all know that. Sometimes my path seems drear without a ray of cheer. And then a cloud of doubt may hide the light of day. The mist of sin may rise and hard my, hide my eyes filled with tears. But just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Just a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He'll hear our faintest cry. Answer by and by. When you feel the prayer wheel turning, your heart in heaven is yearning. You'll find a little talk with Jesus makes it right makes it right. Y'all know that song. I know you do because we've sang it many times, but I want us to understand that that's just a song because there's several things, my God, that we have to do, my God, in order to make it completely right for us. Because at the same time, my God, this song is, is, is great lyrics, but it's talking to, it's talking to Jesus. And how do we talk to the Lord? How do, do we go to the Lord in prayer when we have tr troubles and problems and issues? Do we go to him do we go to him as our mediator? Do we go to him, my God, as the one who can intercede on our behalf? Do we go to him, my God, when we're in trouble? Listen, the Bible says the, the Lord is our help. He is our help in a, in a constant time of need. Romans 8, 34, it says, listen, who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died for us. We can go to him. More than that, he was raised, the Bible said, and he is a right, at the right hand of the Father of God. Come on in here. He is interceding for us. He is our intercessor. What am I saying? I'm saying that means you can go to him. You can go to him, my God, because he is interceding, my God, for you. I looked in, in, in the word of God and I found in John chapter 14, glory to God. Come on, if you've not spoken to God, if you've not gotten God's attention with your little talk, come on, you need to start doing that now. I'm talking about having a conversation with the Lord, not just my God, you talking to him, but him being able to talk back to you, interceding, my God, to, with you for the father. Come on, on your behalf, coming, standing in between you and God, making the case for you. You got to talk with Jesus, my God, to tell him about the things that are going on in your life. Listen, John 14, 8, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just kind of run right through Sister Sherilyn. But Philip was having a, a conversation. He was speaking to Jesus about some things and, and then he was asking the Lord, he said, Lord, show us the Father. And it is sufficient for us. He said, show us God. And, and Jesus said, listen, there, listen, I love it because right away, Jesus got into this conversation with Philip that he was having, Sister Nimby. And he said, have I been with you so long and yet you not known me, Philip? The Lord is saying, listen, I've been with you a long time. And many of you, listen, the Lord has been with you a long time. But yet in our conversations, 
in our monologues, we've just been talking to him. We've been, we get up in the morning and we just tell the Lord, thank you. But we don't tell the Lord about what's going on. Listen, the Lord wants to, us to articulate the things that are going on. He, yes, he will meet our every need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But you've got to let the Lord know what it is that you need. What, Lord, exactly what it is that I need. Lord, I'm in trouble, Lord, financially. Lord, I need you, God, to open the windows of heaven, my God, that you will pour out a blessing for me that I just will not have room enough, my God, to receive it. And the Lord then will respond. He said, I, if you want that, he said, that's easy. I got that in the word of God. He said, listen, I said in Malachi, my God, if you will tie, give your tithes and your offering into the storehouse, he said, then I will for you pour that out for you. He said, it's easy. If you just ask me a thing, he said, I will give you the answer and I will have the solution, my God, to your problems. He said, all you got to do is ask for a thing. Because Philip was asking, he says, the Lord was saying to him, do you not believe that I am in the Father? and the father in me. This is what Jesus was saying. He says, the words that I speak to you, I don't speak on my own authority. He says, but the father who dwells in me does the work. Come on in here, somebody. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Jesus is saying to Philip, he says, when you talk to me, he says, when you ask me a thing, he says, he says you, listen, when you look at me, you're looking at the Father. When you speak to me, you're speaking to the Father. And, he's, and then he said, most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will also, and greater works than these he will do. Because I go to my Father. Father, he's speaking. He's saying, whatever you ask in my name that I will do, that the father may be glorified in the son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Listen, Jesus is speaking here, my God. And he's saying to him, he said, listen, Philip, he said, if you ask something in my name, he says, if you ask it, I will do that the, so that the father will be glorified in the son. If you ask anything in my name, he repeated it just so in case Philip didn't understand. And he repeated it for the sake of us. So in case we don't understand, he said, if you ask anything in the name of Jesus, he said, I will do it because my father wants to be glorified in the son. My God. And then he says, he says, if you love me, he said, keep my commandments. The Lord has given us the remedy. He says, just a little talk with me. If you just have a little talk with me, he says, I, my God, will let you know what is going on in your life. If you have a little talk with me, I will let you know how to get your prayers answered. If you have, come on, a talk with me, not just a monologue, but a conversation conversation. He says, I will let you know how to get yourself out of trouble. If you have a talk with me, my God, I will let you know, my God, how your prayers can be answered. He says, and, and he says, I will pray the father and he will give you another helper. He says, I will give you a helper that he may abide with you forever. If you have a talk with my God, with Jesus, he says, I will bring a comforter to you, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it doesn't see him. He says, but I will not leave you orphans. Oh my God. I was mouth. Thank Thank you, Holy Spirit. I was speaking to a sister on yesterday, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And she and her father just passed away. And we, my God, we pray, my God, for peace and comfort right now to the Golden family as uh, Brother Ben has passed away and transitioned. My God, but I thank God as she was talking yesterday, my God, about being an orphan. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this scripture that you bring to my attention right now. Because he says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. We thank God, my God that the Lord will not leave us orphans when our mother and father, my God, shall leave this earth. We, my God, have a father in heaven, my God, that continues to care for us. We have a father in heaven, my God, that will not leave us nor forsake us. We have, my God, a father in heaven that will give us, my God, everything that we need. Glory to God in here for those, my God, that feel like they have been left alone because maybe their mother, their, my God, their, their physical mother, my God, their physical father, have gone from this earth. I thank you, my God, Holy Spirit, that the word comforts us this morning, that you will not leave us, God. Hallelujah, orphans. Just a little talk with Jesus that gets your attention, oh God. But I thank you, Lord God, that when you give us the realization that you are here, God, you've not left us, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, that we are encouraged, Lord, all the more to know, God, who you are. I thank you, God, that Philip asked the question, God, Jesus, show us who God is. 
And when he shows us, my God, he lets us know, my God, how powerful and how mighty he is. And not only that, my God, how much he loves us. As we look at that scripture, the Lord is just saying to us, he who has my commandments and keeps them is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my father. And I will love him and manifest himself, myself to him. The Lord loves us this morning. When we have conversation, when we talk with him, my God, I thank you, my God. Glory to God. Even my God, Judas, got in on the conversation through this passage of scripture. And Jesus said, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not the world? And Jesus said, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. Keep my word. Come on, a little talk with Jesus will get his attention. But when you keep the word of God, the Lord will show you his power. He will show you his glory. He will manifest himself to you. The Bible says that he will come to my God to you. God, God, and make our home with him. He, my God, bless the Lord, my God, for what it is that he's doing. And not only that, the Lord says that he will give us the gift. He will give us the gift of the Holy Spirit. He said he will bring things to us. He will teach us all things. Come on in here. He will be our teacher. He will be our instructor. He will be our comforter. He will, my God, in the end, the Bible says he will give us peace because verse number 27, glory to God in here. I feel Jesus, people of God. He says, peace I leave with you. He says, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives to you. I give. He said, but let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it not be afraid. My God, I bless God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I bless God. The little talk with Jesus gets his attention. But there are other things, my God. When we have a conversation, my God. When we have a conversation with the Lord and the Lord can talk back to us. The Lord then shares with us how it is that we can get out of trouble. How it is, my God, that we can have peace. How it is that we can be comforted, my God, in our time of discomfort, in our time of anxiety. How it is that we can cast all of our cares on him. And he goes even on in John 16 and 23 and talks to us again and says, The day you will ask me nothing, he said, but most assuredly I say to you that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. The Lord will not withhold any good thing from you, people of God. He's saying, if you ask it in my name, I will do it. How do we get the things that we need from the Lord? You got to ask for it. You got to ask for it in prayer. Come on, you got to go to the Lord in prayer. A little talk. No, 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 no. We got to have a whole conversation. We got to do some things. My God. My God. It didn't make, it did the, the little talk with Jesus is what made it right. It was our understanding of what Jesus said. It was our understanding of the word of God. It was our maturity, our being mature enough to understand what the Lord was speaking to us. And even sometimes, my God, even in the songs that we sing or the songs, my God, that we read, we don't know, my God, that the Lord is speaking through them. We got to unravel what it is that God is trying to say. Come on. So sometimes we take things literally, but the Lord says, look at this thing from a spiritual standpoint. The Lord has to teach us about salvation. He has to teach us to be obedient to his word. And we've got to be obedient. Listen, we guys go back to the word of God. There are many times, listen, I could sit here and I could just talk to you off the, off the top of my head and I could do that. But I got to give you a biblical context so that it hits you, so that you understand, my God, that the Lord is all in this. And we've got to know, my God, that it's going to take a little more than a, 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 a little talk with Jesus to save our souls. It's going to take more than a little talk with Jesus, come on, to make you whole. It's going to take more than a little talk to Jesus, come on, to cleanse you of the filthiness that you're in. As a matter of fact, James 1 and 21, it says, therefore, lay aside all filthiness. An overflow of wickedness and receive the meekness, the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Peter said, since you have been purified in your, your, your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit and sincere love of the brethren, love one another. Oh, yeah, you can you can talk with Jesus, but now you got to do something else, people of God. Now we've got to love one another. Come on, Peter says fervently with a pure heart. Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. So if we think about that, our talk with Jesus is, is, is Jesus speaking to us through the word of God. 
then we got to know that having a talk with Jesus to us through his word is in our obeying his word. That's is what makes us whole. That's what makes things right. It's just not a little talk with him, but it's his, it's him talking back, sharing the word of God, hearing his word, obeying his word, wanting his word, desiring his word, desiring to be obedient to him. Oh my God. We look at Psalm 27 and eight. It says of, uh, seek his face. It is your face. Oh Lord, that I seek hide, not your face, Lord. And when I think about my God, taking more than a little talk with Jesus, there was a woman, my God at the well, and she had a little talk with Jesus. She did. She sat there and she had a little conversation with him. But that woman needed to be healed. Her sins need to be forgiven. She needed to, to, to repent and stop doing the things that she had been doing in order for her to be healed and whole. She was there for some water, but the Lord wanted to give her the righteous water. Water that she would never thirst again. There's a woman with the issue of blood. She had had that problem, my God, for so many years. But she touched the hem of his garment. Her faith, come on. The Lord said, made her whole. She had to believe. She, sat, she, she had an encounter with God. She had to believe. There was a man, my God, that was healed at the pool of Bethesda. He had a conversation. He had a little talk with Jesus about being healed. But later on, the Bible says in John 5 and 14 and 15, says, later on, Jesus saw the man at the temple. And he said, look, look, dude. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. He said, man, you've been made well. And the Lord said to him, he said, now sin no more. Sin no more. Lest the worst thing comes on you. And the man went away and he told the Jews it was Jesus who had made him well. You can have a little talk with Jesus, but listen, there's some, something else that needs to happen. Some more things that you need to do, my God, in order to have the victory that God wants you to have in your life. A little talk with Jesus gets his attention. But the Lord says there's much more that needs to happen in order that you can be whole, that you can be set free. Come on, deliver it out of the clutches of the enemy. Have that conversation with the Lord that you will hear what it is that he is saying to you through his word, through the men and women of God. Ask the Lord to open your ears and your eyes and your heart that you will no longer be as children, but you will be mature enough to understand what he's saying to you. And then be welcome and open enough to obey the word of God, to obey the commands and the commandments the Lord has put set before you. Because the Bible says, who, who knows the truth is free. The truth shall make you free indeed. That's what shall make you free. The truth of the Lord. Father God, I just bless your name. I praise you, God, for who you are. I thank you, Lord God, that yes, we need to pray because prayer, Lord God, changes got a myriad of things. Prayer, Lord God, the Bible says a fervent prayer of the righteous man shall avail much. We thank you, Lord God, for who you're, what you're doing, God, and how you're creating us to be mighty and powerful, Lord God. In you, God, in the kingdom of God. But yet, God, we know there are many, Lord God, who have stopped having conversations with you. Stop, God, for one reason or another, God, maybe because they feel like there's no hope, God, for them. That all may be lost, oh God, they feel like maybe this world has gone so far gone, Lord God, that there is no um, no way to, for them to come back. Maybe they feel like they are so down, God, that they can't get back up. Maybe there are those, God, that feel like they are so high that they don't need you, Lord God. But right now, Lord God, we repent, God, of those thoughts. We repent, God, of those prideful thoughts, Lord God. And we, God, we repent, we go the other way. We ask you, Lord God, to forgive us, God, and receive us back to you, Lord God, that we can have a conversation with you, Lord God. A conversation, Lord God, that will bring God back go the, the fervor, God, the zeal, God, for you, Lord God, the, the yearning and the desire for you, Lord God, that we might do, God, all that you have called for us to do. Lord God, we bless your name, God, because you are mighty and powerful, Lord God. And we thank you for Jesus, who is showing God to us his love, his power, his magnificence, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing, Lord God, even as you make us worthy. We're not worthy of ourselves, oh God, and we don't even think that we are. But Lord, you made us to be worthy when you sent Jesus to die on the cross of our sins that we might be free. Now, God, I pray for those that are sick among us. 
I pray, good Lord, for Brother Jim. I pray you'll continue to bless him and heal him, God. Every minute, God, that he is on this earth, I thank you, Lord God, you are healing him all the more. And even, God, every minute that all of us are here, God, you are making us to be more and more like you. Lord, that is healed, that is powerful. I pray again for the Golden family, Lord. I pray for their peace and comfort. Lord God, as they have lost their father, God, on yesterday. Lord, you know all about it. And we thank you, Lord God, that he is resting, Lord, in your arms. We thank you, Lord God, for all that shall um, take place, Lord God, even as we leave this broadcast. We pray that, that the people of God will not leave this to themselves, but let someone else know, Lord God, that the fervent prayer of the righteous does avail. And even, Lord God, as they continue to pray and seek God, seek God for their healing, seek God for their victory, seek God for their deliverance, seek God, Lord God, for my God, uh, uh, their exodus out of depression and addictions, oh God, that Lord, you know that you will do it. I bless you, Lord God, for who you are and God and how you make us, God, to be powerful in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Amen. 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 People of God, listen, I love you all so much with the love of Jesus. Share this word with somebody else because somebody needs to know it takes more than a little talk with Jesus to make things right. We need to do some things. Come on, we need to come and turn from our wicked ways. We need to do it. But the Lord loves you so much. I love you too. Go in peace.